the way you build an incredible relationship with yourself is the same way that you've built an incredible relationship with the friends closest to you. What do I mean? Well, if you look at your friends, I would guarantee that number one, you spend a lot of time together, right? You enjoy spending time with that person. Number two, that person probably feels quite safe to you. What do I mean by safe? I mean, when you're with them, you could let your guard down. You could be your authentic self and not feel judged by that person to be anything else. Number three, you probably feel pretty supported by that person, right? For me, one of my best friends, Tucker, I feel like I can call him up when I'm going through anything, share, invent whatever's coming up for me, even if it's the most vulnerable type emotions you can imagine, and I can expect support from him, right? In a loving, unjudgmental, non-judgmental, loving and supportive way, right? Spending time together, being feeling safe to be our full selves with that person, and not feeling judged while we are getting support and feeling comfortable to have support with that person, right? And number four is we just have fun with that person, right? We've gotten to learn so much about each other that we know what we do like, what we don't like, and now we get to do more of what we do like together, and it makes life so much more jubilant and fulfilling and fun and exciting, right? And our relationship with ourselves is absolutely no different, right? Our relationship with ourselves and that trust, actually putting substance to the idea of self-trust, actually putting substance to the idea of self-love is spending time together as our authentic selves in a non-judgmental and supportive way while getting to have fun and doing the things that we want to do, right? And of course, this might be really weird to conceptualize and think about or even feel, do I dare say feel, if we've never been taught this or we've never really experienced a loving relationship towards ourselves before right? But I know that everybody out there has somebody in their lives that they feel comfortable to just be who they are with. And if we can take that relationship and we could say, how can I have more of that relationship with the relationship with myself? We could start to take something that at least for me has felt so nebulous, kind of like hard to actually embody and put into practice. We're like, oh, building a relationship with myself, it's the same thing as building this awesome relationship that I have with my best friend Tucker. And so maybe a question here is, how can I take the fundamentals, the principles of this relationship that I have with my best friend and just begin to apply them to my relationship with myself and see how that works. And the reason that I ask this, the reason that I share this is simply because life is better with best friends. No doubt about it. And life is extremely better when we are our best friends. Because we are the person that we live with 24-7. And so if we can improve this relationship, then any relationship around us, anything, an experience around us, happens to become just as good as that relationship is. How can we take the fundamentals, the principles from the relationship that we have with our best friends 
and begin to apply them to ourselves. Food for thought. Now, with that said, I'm gonna go have, I'm gonna go spend some good time before the sun goes down with myself, my other best friend right here, just basking in the sun. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna go do yet, but I'm gonna do something fun because I need to get out of my house. With that said, let me know how that works out for you. And if you have any questions related to this, please feel free to drop them down below. I would love to answer them.